Hey folks, hello again, happy Wednesday. Um, hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I wanted to talk today a little bit about death. What a cheery subject, but it really is ominous. Uh, you think about the power that it has. If you're in the world and you're not a believer in Christ, let's consider that. You've got this very temporary life. You've got permanent separation from the ones you love when they pass on and all the grief and the sorrow, which can be overwhelming, um, you know, when you lose a loved one. You've got the realization that one day you'll be in the grave as well, uh, which can bring about a lot of fear. Um, and it's a very real thing. And outside of believing in Christ, I, I can ima can't imagine how people deal with it. Um, <clears throat> you know, we think of this this death this uh grim reaper kind of person and i think hollywood probably has him depicted pretty well you think of the guy with the with the dawn face and the cape and the staff and just you know it, it just uh it's it's a it's a real thing and death um uh is very powerful uh death has had the right uh to take life because it's the wage of the sin that we commit uh, so we've earned it. We deserve it. And he's kind of been our slave master, our taskmaster, just waiting for us to, to go off so that he could eternally separate us uh, from God. And it's very scary. Um, and then, the, of course, there's the you have the physical death on earth, and then you have the, what Revelation calls the second death, this eternal separation from the life giver who is God. And that's a, a death that's hard to even contemplate as and even as far as it's uh, torment and hell and things of that nature of course but then <clears throat> those that are believers we have that assurance and we see even in the church where there's a we'll lose someone a dear brother or sister and you can see that even in the surviving spouses or friends or brothers and sisters there's just this realization that it is temporary it's just a temporary thing this 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 first death and we know that we'll see them again and that's very assuring and very wonderful way uh, uh, to live for sure um, in the book of Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 Hebrews 2 14 it says that through death he might bring to naught him that had the power of death that is the devil so you could see that he had that power, but because of what Christ has done, he has defeated him. How many times has he defeated him? Once, that's it. One, one, uh, one death by Christ has redeemed mankind through faith. So <clears throat> very powerful, but God, Christ has dealt with that for us. Sure, we still struggle with sin we have a proclivity towards sin unfortunately we struggle we fail but its power over us has been broken <laughs> that's pretty awesome um and as we consider um i'm taping this on the wednesday before easter sunday or resurrection sunday as i like to call it so i don't know if you'll be watching it then but especially as we go into the service on sunday um taking um, uh, Holy Communion and, and the cantata and worshiping, just think of, of the power that Christ had and the power that has been broken in the enemy's grip in our lives. Uh, it really is just hard to even fathom, but thank him and appreciate and love him for that. In Romans 6, chapter 11, Romans chapter 6, verse 11, I'm sorry, yes, uh, chapter 6, verse 11. It says, uh, Paul is talking, he says, Even so, reckon ye yourselves to be dead unto sin, but alive unto God in Christ Jesus. So he uses that word reckon. So I am basically like a southerner. Well, I reckon you ought to be dead to sin. He, you know, he just, when he uses that word reckon, it's actually more of an accounting term. It, it, it refers to um, uh, numbers and balances. In other words, it's arithmetic. When you're, when you're considering this and realizing what God has done, um, it's literal. It's like math. 
It's not wishy-washy. It's like, no, two plus two is four. You reckon this, you understand it. It is very much mathematical fact that God has washed you and you now have died in Christ with him. Uh, he took our sins before the Father and we died with him on the cross. So we've died with our sin and we are alive now unto Christ. We are alive in him. So Paul is saying, make aware of this, realize it, understand it, literally, and stay away from sin. Um, when we think of the age of man, uh, you know, we've been around a few thousand years, but there is a, there is a beginning, Adam and an end, return of the Christ to the age of man when we're walking upon this earth. The age of Christ is eternal. That goes from beginning to end, the Alpha and the Omega. When we are alive in Christ, when the Spirit that everlast, of the everlasting God comes into us, yeah, we're, we're walking on this earth, but we're also present with Him in Christ. So we're living that eternal life in Him even now. A lot of times we think a little bit more linear. Well, I'm going to walk on the earth, and if I, when my life is over, I'll either be with Christ or I'll go and be in hell. Or there'll be like a, a forked road at that time. It's not really how it goes. Even as Christians now, we have already, in a sense, in a spiritual sense, transcended to be in his life. So we're walking in this physical earth, be it our, our love, our purpose, our true life is in him. That's why we're changed. Uh, we're different. And that's what the scripture, that's what Paul is trying to make us understand, that we have this, this eternal life within us that has already started because we believe in him. Um, so again, uh, Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, man, there was a lot to happen on that cross. Um, a great battle, a tremendous, tremendous victory. Uh, for the sake of us who God saw and loved for whatever reason I don't know why but boy what a what a tremendous tremendous victory and something that looked like utter defeat even on the cross even before he rose boy that cross just is so much to our lives and we thank him and bless him for it thank you for your attention uh, God bless you guys and um, happy resurrection day